Do you have a safe place to go to? Or your go-to place when things aren't going well? What might it be? Well, for some, if things aren't going well, it's a quart of haagen chocolate ice cream. For others, it might be calling mom or dad. For others, it might be going to the bar or finding something else to do. Because we always are looking for comfort in the most difficult of times, we're looking for that comfort place, the place where we can go to. I'd submit there's one that never changes. There's one that is always there for all of us, especially in this time of uncertainty. In this time where, well, things just aren't going the way we hadn't planned, right? And that's the same place that the Apostle Paul went to. Let me share his situation with you. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. Upon receiving such orders, he put them in the inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. That's quite the situation, wouldn't you agree? They feared for their life. Yes, they were beaten, they were flogged, they were put in prison. But they didn't know if they'd live tomorrow. But they had their safe place, their go-to place, their security. Because the very next verse and it says, About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God. And the other prisoners were listening to them. Singing, praying, at a time when one could have thought God had abandoned them? Oh, no. No. In the most difficult of times, in the most uncertain of times, their go-to place was God. It hasn't changed, you know. He's still our go-to place. Make sure to go there.